Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Apartment Building, or Let's Build an Apartment Swan, or whatever I've called it. Can't really remember. Anyway, what we did last time, obviously the parking and stuff like that, we're going to do the interior plan. And this interior plan is going to be used for all of them. So we're just going to like spend basically 20 minutes making sure we've got a really, really solid plan. Then we can just copy and paste up these ones, then road, well, flip it uh, for these ones. So it's completely reversed for these ones. Then obviously do the same on the other side. So that's what we're going to be doing. Pretty much. Um, yeah, now the materials I'm actually going to be using are... I'm going to use like light grey. I'll just show you guys. Oh, there. Uh, light grey and I'm going to have like white on top. It's just going to be really simple colours. Uh, I didn't want to use, you know, just sandstone or anything like that because it's just a bit boring. Uh, but the first thing we need to do anyway... Um, it's probably a ton of shaders. There's a ton of shaders for this one. Because of the, uh, the lighting type issues that we're going to have. But the first thing, anyway, is just paint this interior wall. This is one of the, the middle wall, basically, that goes between each apartment. So because we're going to be keeping this solid um, as, like, a, a general style, we can actually paint this one. You know, it's shared, so it's quite nice to actually have one that, that you can do that with. Now, because it's quite big, we could actually double up the walls with this one, but I, I just hate doing that. I just hate doubling up. And there we go. So we'll get that. Yeah, I just hate doing it. But there we go. That'll be the shared wall for this one, and obviously... That one, just just in case you guys were wondering somehow. Anyway, we've got quite a lot of window space on this side. Um, so we can't really have a bathroom there. I was actually thinking of having the bathroom in this spot, space here. So you can like come through the door. Let's get rid of these. Come through the door and then you get this bathroom actually on the side here. Because you do need it kind of centralised, I guess, don't you? Uh, it's going to be quite a big bathroom as well. So we can have like a bath in there. Shower bath in that bit. Um, then get like a nice little towel rack there or something. So shower bath. Bathtub thing there. Uh, we can even do the two by... Probably two by three. Yeah, we're going to do it two by three. Then have a toilet and then that would work uh, really well. We almost need a wall going across here. But not as like a full blocking wall. So it'll be, you know, empty. So there we go. So we'll do something like that. We'll try that out because then it keeps enough light in this room and um, we do need to split this room this room that room up there definitely there we go like that so that's going to be our bathroom it starts to give us a hallway and i don't know if i was going to do that or not that's what i was wondering so i've got the slab in my hand because i wasn't sure if i wanted to do that or no maybe that works i think just lower it a little bit or you can even do you know you can do stuff like that as well actually that's kind of cool yeah we'll go with that because that's a different one um, so we get that. Don't know where we're going to have the bathroom door. We could have it here or whatever. We're going across here. We could we also need to kind of not close this in, but even if we just have a half wall here, you know, that would still work. Even if it's just using. So look at these. You know, do it, you know, using one of these type of uh, modernistic walls. We have bits and bobs coming out of it. Um, I'll move it in there or something. Into, yeah, actually that looks good. That in there, you know, something like that would look pretty cool. Just have this. So maybe this can be the living room. This can have kitchen and bathroom and stuff in there. So that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Maybe even have an on... I think I'd probably have an ensuite suite to one of the bathrooms. Uh, this needs to be smaller. Okay, that interior wall might need to move then. Because this cannot be open. There's no way in hell that that can be open. Or as open as it is now. I want the interior wall. On this, I think. I don't want to do... I think it's going to look crap from the inside though. Uh, the outside though, yeah, I think it is. So we're going to have to have, you know, this wall in here. Because we do need to have that there. Because otherwise, otherwise people could literally just walk in, rob everything right out your window, <laughs> right out of your house, without any sort of fight at all. So we need to have something like that. And then we need to have some sort of, you know, we'll have some doors here. You know, even if we have glass. We'll have glass there, right? Double doors. Double doors. Glass around it all. So let's grab those double doors. There we go, we get that. 
I can just punch those in. Oops. There you go, like that. So that's what we actually have. Um, something like that. Uh, we could do some bathrooms out. Yeah, so I think we also need the kitchen. Let's have the living room here. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's perfect for a living room for where we actually have the TV. So yeah, we'll have that. I'll have this as a divide. I'm just going to make the divide a little bit longer. So we can actually do that to get this down here. Do like this. There's a, I, just, I just like this design. I don't know, to be honest. Something like that just looks really cool, doesn't it? Divider there. So we get yeah, we got a living room in here. It's quite open, but it comes in the hallway. We've got lots of light coming through. Goes in here. This is going to be just bedrooms, really. I don't know. That could be where the ensuite goes, actually. It's quite a big ensuite there. So you got <laughs> you can't have a bath. I was just about to say, <laughs> have a little bath there, like tiny little. No, it doesn't work in Minecraft that way. Um, we have a bath. Dang it. Hmm. Well, let's put in some lights anyway. You have to do all that bit. So it's one, two, put a light. Let's have it above that. Or we have double lights above these. But it leaves a one block gap. No, I think. Let's do what I did before. That'll light up these. That'll look really cool at night time. And I can shut a couple of them off as well. So yeah, we'll have the ensuite there. So we'll have like this as a open area, right? And I'll have a couple of ba uh, bedrooms off it. And we'll have them a bit weird shaped. Uh, probably not even, don't need to go out that much. Probably you just need to do this. Damn it. <laughs> For some reason I was thinking I could use that. Right, let's just, wait, let's get this sorted first. Right, master bedroom, normal bedroom. That's big enough for a normal bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. That's huge. Let's just shave a couple, uh, block off or, block or two off of that. Uh, and the kitchen will be here. Dining room can be, dining table can be here. That kind of makes sense. Uh, so you've got the kitchen and because they usually do have them kind of mixed together, don't they, in, uh, in apartments. So that's good. Okay, so where's the door going to be? That could be the door because I can't really put them there. Can't put it next to the toilet. That would be there, I think. And then we have the bath there. Put uh, it right crammed onto it. The problem is, if we had that extra block, it would be fine. It's just, I don't know. Right, I'll I'll mess around with that one. That's fine. Uh, we're also going to do this for the doors. So I'm going to go onto that. And we'll also get onto lighting in a second. Uh, for that we do need it dark. Okay, put that on that side as well. Let's get that kind of divide. Or we get free block divide or something. Nah, that'll be fine. Right, let's get that. That's good. And that means that we got um, yeah, loads of two bedroom apartments, which would be cool. Works out quite nicely. This can be uh, probably, yeah, we want to use that so that we've got an actual, f an actual space there. Because that works. Uh, that'll go to there. To here, that's fine. Um, anywhere else? Anything else? No, not really. I do want to have it open, so yep. Dining room. Kitchen. Living room. So you can hear the doorbell when you're sat down there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that works. Right, okay. So we need the front door, because I, I bet you I will forget about that, as well as all the other doors. Obviously. Step on that, put that in there. Put that in there, step on that there. There, there, there. these. So I'm just going to keep open like that, hopefully with all of them. Right, lights then. Okay. We need a nice light here, maybe a double one there. Uh, 
then this one. Yep, that'll work. So you always do the small. Uh, I always do the smaller ones first because it gets you into the swing of things. This has got a nice. That's going to be a really nice either cupboard or a nice shelf area. Really nice shelf area. There goes five. So I'm actually going to use or put that one block there. Okay, two blocks. In that works. Just two spotlights will work. Okay, and then here, bathroom first, small room. I have just one light right there. And this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Can maybe do with doing these. And moving that one over. Lights like that. Uh, this place could do with one there, and there. Keep two blocks away. Looks a bit better. Yep, that looks good. That looks good. Right, this could do with one there, and again on the other side as well. Could do another two there. Let's see where that. That works just in the middle. That actually works out really well because that's in line with this middle bit, which makes it look cool and keeps me happy, <laughs> which is, is obviously quite important, the lights, whereas this one won't really, but it has two blocks there, two blocks there, which, which semi does it, alright, that looks pretty good lighting wise, let's have a look, if we put on shaders and we have a wander through, without holding this torch, I also forgot I need to do all of these ones as well, don't I, because this is really dark, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, so I've four sets of those, let's have a look on this bit, two, one, two, three, four, and I'll just do that, that's good, that, that spreads out the light well, that's all we really need for that. I could put that loads of like crap and junk and stuff in there if I wanted to. Right, this actually that's all right, lighting wise. Nice windows. That's all well lit. Yep. Yep, that is absolutely fine. That's perfect as well. Perfect. Small bedroom. Well, I say small bedroom, it's still <laughs> still really big bedrooms. This one's really big. These are pretty swanky apartments, really. On to it as well. So they've got two bathrooms. All that kind of stuff. That looks really good though. So what I'll do is I will be copy and pasting, flipping and all that kind of stuff uh, with this layout. And then we're going to do six different variations on this. Actually that might be a really interesting idea for you guys as well. Because hopefully it'll show you how many different ways or how many different ways you can possibly do something. Since I'm going to try to go for different ways. I don't even know if I can do it. But we'll see. Um, but anyway guys. Thank you very much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.